I would just request, I'll just create sacred space. In the meanwhile, I want you to think about any one particular, Little louder. any one particular thing, any one particular year, which has been like a troublesome year for you, or any one particular uh, attribute, let's say guilt, a lot of guilt, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, any one particular attribute you think about, and we will be able to clear it. Additionally, even if you are aware, not aware, your inner child will guide you to the right. So even if you have like, for example, you are confused for two, three things, two, three issues, then you can ask your inner child. He, uh, the inner child will guide you what to clear immediately first, or first and foremost. So for which I will just take you through, just keep a, a glass of water handy as we take you through this process. And this is the this is the extra little surprise for everybody. Yes. Uh, with the process that you're going to take us through, we we're going to hear from the inner child as well. Like that communication is going to, to happen. Very excited. Please go ahead. So I'll just take you through this process. Just take three deep breaths. Breathe in peace. Breathe out all the chaos, all the confusion. Breathe in unconditional love for self. Breathe out unconditional love for others. Breathe in abundance, breathe out all the rigidities, all the blockages, all the implants. Remain peaceful and calm. You are now breathing relaxed. Take your awareness to your heart chakra. Now, notice your breath, how calm, how relaxed your breath is, because we have taken your energies to a different zone. You think of any peaceful place where you love to be, you are in that place. So you are now more peaceful, more calm. As you have taken your awareness to your heart chakra, just peacefully remain. Now, I would request you to call your inner child in the following manner. My dear child, my dear inner child, come to me. You are feeling some amount of rumblings within you, as something from within you may be hesitating to come out, but wanting to come. Something from within you is moving out. Just see the inner child. The inner child is nothing but a reflection of you. The inner child is totally what you are. Only thing, it is carrying more concerns, more blockages, and more awareness about your block. So your inner child is standing in front of you and telling you, informing you about certain aspects the period you want to release, the year which you want to release your trauma from and all those aspects ask your inner child of which year first of all i would request you to embrace your inner child as your inner child wants your love 
I can see tears rolling down the inner child's eyes, some of you. Just comfort your inner child and ask your inner child which one year or which one attribute or which particular situation should be cleared from you. As you have got clarity now, you can tell the inner child, thank you. I am always going to be with you. Feel the energies of the inner child standing in front of you. You will feel whatever is the inner feeling. There may be sorrow, grief, guilt, or whatever. Let it go. Because now, just tell your inner child, I am with you and I will take care of you. With this, embrace your inner child and your inner child will integrate into your aware awareness, into your energies. Wow. This is a feeling of being loved. Feeling loved. This is it. Now I call upon your energy body for that particular year or for that particular attribute which you want to release or that particular moment you want to release information from about. I am drawing the symbol and sending it to your cellular memory for that particular year or that attribute for all the years. And the cellular memory is being vacuum cleaned by the symbol. And you can already feel some releases from within you. I have called upon Saint Germain with the violet flame of transportation. The Saint Germain will burn everything in the violet flame of transmutation, trans burning everything around you, whatever is being released. So be rest assured. Just feel, just let it happen to you. Feel whatever is being felt by you. Surrender this attribute or this particular year's trauma to the symbol. And now as I'm making out, the symbol has cleared the intended target for clearing. And now I call upon Archangel Raphael, Archangel Gabriel, Archangel Sham Haniel, Archangel Michael, Archangel Zadkiel, and Archangel Shamuel to send the green, white, blue, green, white, turquoise, the blue, violet, and pink light to the cellular memory for that particular year's attribute or towards that particular moment or to the particular year, attribute or moment. And you can already feel, I can feel the energies integrating into your energy and filling the void of what that was released. And you can feel the inner child dancing within you that there is this starting now. It is telling you, thank you, thank you, thank you.
the inner child is now dancing with Mary. Yes, it is a beginning and it will start and it will end. You are going to be abundant. So the green, white, blue, turquoise, the blue, violet and pink light has completely filled all the voids. Now, I am sending Lord Metatron and Lord Melchizedek energies so that they can give you peace, awareness and courage so that you can face your fears. Feel this. And we are releasing this burning it in the violet flame, this particular year attribute. And now this attribute for those people who had asked for a particular attribute, we are even healing your mother's womb. Feel the mother's womb's clearing for that particular attribute or the root of that one year of trauma. The symbol is healing the womb of your mother for this particular root of this particular issue. And I can feel already there is a, the inner child is now literally calm. And the womb of your mother are healing with the green, white, turquoise, the blue, violet, and pink light. Lord Metatron, Lord Melchizedek is healing the womb. And you are now feeling your own energies, filling you with courage and awareness and healing you, forgiveness energies, transmuting all less than God energies, unconditional love, shielding, peace, tranquility. My God. Now, the process for this healing is complete. I request the cellular memory, energy body to integrate into your physical body, your body elemental is making a note of all the changes, all the cuts, cut, delete that. Integrate, integrate, integrate. Your DNA is changing accordingly and you will feel the peace and calm returning into you and your relationship with your inner child will be much better. Look inside and around you. Feel the vibrations. I can feel a lot of vibrations for all of you. Look inside and around you. And now, as and when you want to come out of this, you can rub your palms, collect the energies in your heart chakra first, and then in your eyes, and open your eyes. You can have water. This is a very, and if you want, because such things you may forget to write down your experience if you feel like, and then you can open it right up. Thank you so much for that, Deepak. And as you said, in case one forgets, you're most welcome to write it down. Write it down for yourself. Yes, for Feels yourself. Too much to be able to share. If you would like to share something uh, with Deepak about whatever you experience right now, please do go ahead and write it in the group while we give everybody a moment to to to, to get okay, to get back to wherever they are here currently on the call, express what they felt or otherwise, or maybe they want to write in later. Um, in the day, later in the evening or the day, depending on where you are, or even tomorrow, that is also fine. I Before <clears throat> we get uh, Sri Devi on, I did want to ask you, Deepak, this, Abhi, right now with this uh, demonstration, we've done one, you've taken either a year or a one particular emotion that you would have uh, liked to yeah. look at. So here's the thing that, and also in the beginning, as you mentioned, you create the sacred space. And yeah. I'd like to remind everybody, thank you so much, Deepak. The sacred space creation of keeping yourself protected is actually an audio MP3 that Deepak has gifted for everybody. everybody. You will get it with your call replay. What I wanted to ask Deepak is that once this is done, is it like a guaranteed uh, thing that it's not going to come back? Because trauma 
is not happened one time, yeah. done one time, over. There are things that happen daily, right? Across yeah. life and timelines. So that's my question. Is yeah. it that it's if it's gone once, it's gone, it's never coming back. Yes. yes. So basically, once it is gone for a particular, let's say today we have done it, it's gone for today and forever. There are these habit energies for which we have given the audio for 30 days, which has to be listened. Once you listen that audio for 30 days, the habit energy also will be able to release it. Second most aspect is that post that, any new trauma, I'll give you an example. For example, just 20, 2022, I had done for my family in somewhere in March, April. And uh, in July, we lost our pet daughter. So that additional new trauma that you need to release. So for example, a person goes through these challenges on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you learn, as you learn, why, why we encourage people to learn so that they can do their healing every 15 days, one month, even for their children right. and have a open communication with their children. Because many a times they go through some challenges without informing you because of the fear and they feel threatened when talking to you or whatever be the reason. So open channel of communication with, with your child and every 15 days or one month, if you heal your children from the trauma, I will you will definitely see a major change in their overall outlook and approach. So, okay. which is the which is my humble submission that previous trauma will hundred percent not come back. Okay. 